The King James Bible, the Book of Psalms, chapter 106. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can shew forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers, we have committed iniquity, we have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt, they remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at, at sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it is dried up, so he led them through the depths as though, as though the wilderness. And he saved them from and he saved them from the hand of him that hated him, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies, there was none left, not one of them left. They believed they his words, they sang his praise. They soon forgot his works, they waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron the saint of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of Ab Abiram. And the fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Hiram and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed the, their glory into the similitude of an ox that eaten grass. They forgot God, they forgot God their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he who would destroy them, and not Moses his chosen, should had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach, to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land, they believed not his word, but murmured in their tents, and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their interventions, and the plague break in upon them. Then stood up Phineas and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations for evermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes, because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols which are a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled in their own works, and it went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them and ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjugation under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel, and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and he remembered for them his, his covenant, and repented among, repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. 
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Chapter 107 O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed in, from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as it in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Because they rebelled against the words of God, and contemned the counsel of the Most High, Therefore he brought them, brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and brake their bands in, in sunder. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distress. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters. These see the works of the Lord, and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They mount up the heaven, they go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They'll reel to and fro, and stagger like a drunken man, and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh a storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they be quiet, so he bringeth them unto their desired heaven, haven. O oh, the man, O oh, the men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness, and the water springs into dry ground, a faithful land unto barrens, barrenness, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water, and dry ground, ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields and plant vineyards, which may yield fruit to increase. He blesseth them also so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffer, suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again they are diminished and brought low through oppression and affliction and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the wilderness, where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on the high from affliction, and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop at her mouth. Whoso is wise and will others and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord.